we're going to talk a little bit about reading data in. So far, most of what we've done in class, I've used other um, kinds of methods for bringing data in. So we've taken data from the keyboard or kind of maybe used a list structure to read it straight uh, within the programming environment. Okay. Um, so there's going to be a more convenient way to store data, whether we're going to read stored data in or import data that we'd like to store. So we're going to be going over that in this section. All right, so first a little test. A program is designed to retrieve data from a file, process it, and then output some manipulated revised data to some other file. Which of the following methods will not be called on in the program? So which one will not? Take a moment and think about your options. So you're actually going to need all of these, um, and you'll see why, <coughs> pardon me, in the following. Okay, so we're going to use some methods here, read line, read, read lines to read text files. So this would be like a comma separated or just a dat file or text file in general. Um, read line in particular reads and returns that next line. And it re can return, it'll just return an empty string if you're at end of file. Um, read will get the entire file. I think this one we've used before. Uh, read lines reads the entire file into a list of strings. So remember how a list can to contain numeric objects or string objects. And so it's going to bring it into a list of strings. We need to be aware of that. Um, all of these have a trailing uh, uh, backslash in character, um, which progresses you to the next line. So here's a file um, with a sequence of lines. We're going to use open here. This is just going to give us access to the uh, file songs.txt. And um, then we're going to go through a for loop. So notice for line in F. So line is going to scope the number of lines within songs.txt and then print. We also could use a while loop. So just notice the difference here. We use while line and then you print the line strip. So notice um, line dot strip is the method is strip, of course, and line is that index of the file songs dot text. So it's taking each line within that file and then um, um, applying the method strip to it in both cases, both the uh, for loop case, the while loop case. Um, the thing added down here also is that we're storing the using the method read line to store the result from F. Remember, F up here is that link to songs.txt in an object. So here's a few lines. Songs chosen this semester. Um, here's um, a few of the lines. Let's see. If we ran um, this set of code, which um, F refers to this file and has open, so which, what does, <laughs> skip return. I'm going to pause to save a little time on my video. Okay, so, oh crap, I just realized my um, file is a little bit cut off. But let's just talk through it. It doesn't matter if you can see all my options or not. But when you look at this, notice that we are going to read line. So remember, read line just is the single line. So read line. Oh gosh, um, let me fix this real quick. My view is all messed up now. I left to, um, there we go. Okay, now I can see it better. I wanted to fix that. Um, so we're going to go through and read lines. Remember that we're going to skip comments, except um, we want to return the line that um, is finally recorded within the skip definition. So go through and think about what lines are going to be uh, skipped over and which are going to not be skipped over. And um, you should be getting at the very end, the very final line of data, the Zelda 3. All right, so make sure that you can get that. Um, it may even help to run a few tests online.